In this short video clip, I'm going to run through the calculations and the examples which are covered on your handout uh, regarding induction motor speed. Um, so straight into it, there are a couple of different calculations we can do on synchronous speed. And synchronous speed is the speed of the magnetic field. So if we have a 50 hertz supply, the magnetic field is rotating at 50 uh, revs per second or 3000 rpm and that's the fastest possible speed that the rotor could ever turn at so that is synchronous speed so a couple of quick calculations we can work it out in revs per second lowercase n is revs per second and it's f over p okay do a couple of quick examples on your handout. This is example one and two. So example one, uh, NS is F over P. The frequency is 50. And in the question, it is a two pole machine. P is pairs of poles. There is one pair. That would be a trip up if this question occurs in an exam. So 50 revs per second. Nice and simple. Let's do example two. Uh, and this is a four pole machine on 50 hertz. So synchronous speed NS equals F over P. Put the numbers in. The frequency is 50. There are four poles. That is two pairs. And that comes to 25. Oh revs per second sorry about that okay so that was all about being in revs per second let's move on and do the second half of this particular page on your handout and let's look at rpm the formula has moved from lowercase to uppercase and it's 60 f over p the reason for the 60 is quite simple there are 60 seconds in a minute and we're now doing revs per minute so if i look at example three we have a two pole machine on 50 hertz and we have ns equals 60 f over p 60 times the frequency over the pairs of poles Three thousand RPM. Okay, so I uh, moved over a little bit there. Where I'll try and squeeze example four in over here. So we now have four pole machine running on fifty hertz. NS is sixty F over P. Sixty times fifty. Over, this is four poles, so there are two pairs, and that's going to give you 1500 RPM. I just squeezed it in. Okay, so that's a couple of the examples. Over the page on your handout, there are a couple of questions. And question one. states you have an eight pole induction motor on a 50 hertz supply what is the synchronous speed in rpm and what has been the effect of increasing the number of poles so your formula ns is 60 f over p put the numbers in 60 times 50 this is an eight pole machine that's four pairs that will give you 750 rpm so to answer the second part of the question what has been the effect of increasing the number of poles um, in short increasing the poles oops reduces speed
Okay, so let's have a look at the second example on that page. Uh, an 8-pole induction motor runs on a 60 hertz supply. What is the synchronous speed in uh, reps per second and RPM? What has been the effect of increasing the frequency? Uh, I'll let you do the calculation in reps per second on your own. I'm going to just do the RPM. So NS is 60F over P. Put the numbers in. 60, the frequency has changed. And it's an 8-pull machine, that's 4 pairs. And if you work that out, you get 900 RPM. So, if you look at these two questions, this was one motor on 50 hertz. This is the same motor on 60 hertz. What has changed when we've increased the frequency from 50 to 60? The speed has increased. So, increasing the frequency increases speed. It will go the other way as well. If we reduce the frequency, we can reduce speed. Okay, so moving swiftly on. The next section of the handout is about slip. If you read the details in the handout and you watch the videos, the rotor can never ever keep up with the frequency of the supply. So if the frequency of the supply rotates at 3000 RPM, then the rotor cannot rotate normally in an induction motor at 3000 RPM. It's always slightly behind and the difference between the two is called slip. So slip has a formula. Slip equals NS minus NR over NS times 100. So this is synchronous speed minus the actual rotor speed, which will be less, divided by synchronous speed. You multiply it by 100 to give you an answer in percent. Um, there is a variation of this formula. This all uses RPM. You could use revs per second. doesn't matter which one you use as long as you keep all the units the same these are all revs per second these are revs per minute don't mix the two up okay so over the page on your handout there are a couple of examples for you to do let's look at those right now so example one uh, a two-pole induction motor runs on a 230 volt 50 hertz supply. Its rotor speed is 2850 RPM. Find the percentage slip. The 230 volts is irrelevant. It's just the frequencies and the RPM that we need. But before we can calculate slip, you need to find the synchronous speed. So NS is 60F over P. This should be familiar territory for you. 60 times 50 and it's a two pole machine so that's one pair so that's 3000 rpm okay so part two of this then is to find the percentage slip slip is ns minus nr over NS times 100, put the numbers in, and we've got 3000 minus 2850, going to struggle to squeeze that in, and NS is 3000, and all of that lot is times 100. <laughs> okay, and if you work that out, that should come to 5%. Slip is normally in the range of about 2 to 7%, something like that. 
Okay, so that was example one. The last example from me. So example two, a four pole induction motor runs on a 110 volt 60 hertz supply. Uh, find the rotor speed, sorry, find the percentage slip. So once again, you need the synchronous speed and it's 60 F over P, put the numbers in, 60. The frequency had changed to 60. It's a four pole machine, that's two pairs. And that comes to 1800 RPM. So the slip is now NS minus NR over NS times 100. Put the numbers in. Synchronous speed is 1800. The rotor speed was 1725 over synchronous times 100. And if you put that in your calculator, you should hopefully come up with 4.2%. Have a go at the questions on the sheet. See how you get on.